All right, back out in the middle sound. Whoa, a little sporty out here. Oh, we're gonna try to get him, get it done. I'm with uh, Dan from Fishing Accomplice. He's back there, we're trying to get on the tog, maybe some sea bass. It's definitely a slow ride getting out, but it's supposed to lay out, so let's see how we do. <laughs> tiny, tiny sea bass. I think I want to go a little deeper. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> that thing is too tiny to uh, to warrant. If that guy's here, then there's like more tiny fish. I think. Let's go deeper. I miss terribly. Drifting so fast. Probably moving like three miles an hour or something if you just drift. Big bait. All right, there is tog down there. Got to start somewhere. Decent one. Yeah, so this was really just like adding insult to injury. Dan had just lost his anchor, and so my anchor was the only one left, and I just pulled too hard and it broke. So we didn't have an anchor from this point forward. I was not expecting that. <sighs> yeah, the this cord snapped. Man. Well, I guess we're sea bass fishing then. Yeah. It's definitely a lot calmer now. Yeah. Porgy. All right, Mr. Porgy. I'll let you go. I'm not looking for you. That's a good sea bass. I think it's a, probably a keeper. Yeah, sea bass. Not a monster. Gotta start somewhere. 
Oh, dude, there's some, definitely some sea bass around. This guy's about 15. He's only 15. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're definitely finding some sea bass. Put some squid on. There we go. Yeah. That feels like a bigger sea bass. Oh yeah. That should keep. I'll keep them. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Now we're getting some uh, Now we're catching them. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a shark. Oh, it's like the worst case scenario. Yeah. All right. Well, we can only go up from here. Yeah. <laughs> we, we definitely. I just can't even tell where my hook is in him. Drifted so far away too. You can cut whatever you can cut. Well, you were getting bites too. Yeah, well, I lost my bait. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. All right. They're starting to feed. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. This is definitely a nice sea bass. Nice. Oh, that's the one we are looking for. Yeah. This guy's is almost 20, about 19 and a half. To put them on the stringers. It's nice to put fish in the cooler. I'm just not very good at black fishing without an anchor. That that's that's the reality of my situation. <laughs> I mean, especially in deeper water. All right, let's keep trying to get the sea bass. Oh yeah.
a smaller one. The only problem with the bait is it'll get the small ones too. Yeah. Like I wonder if I jig something. Like yeah, like metal. Dan's on. Small Seabers. I think this is not a keeper. Ears came off. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, that's a good bend. Still small. Yeah, here they here the sea bass come now. It's like they woke up. There we go, that's the big one. That's a bigger one. I think that'll keep. Oh yeah, 16. 16 and a little. Fish hit on the way up. That big one. Yeah, it was on the way up. I had already had a smaller fish, and I was just trying to rip the the smaller fish like away to get unhooked, and I did, and that thing came. So like, if you have a small fish, there's probably a big one nearby, like pissed off that he didn't get the meal. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh. Yeah, son. <laughs> what? Well, put a massive bait. Like I put a really big bait, and I'm moving it a lot. <laughs> it's probably another twenty. <sighs> Same piece of bait. Uh, he's 18. That's number five. Is definitely the current changed. Go figure though, it's like just our luck. We're basically fighting the current <laughs> both ways, you know? <laughs> like going back. But that, that motor will help a lot. Oh, yeah. That's where I see the motor shine the most is when you're fighting current. Yeah. Nice. Instant, huh? Hello. 
looks about keeper. We want the last one to be a big one. <laughs> nice. I love to see it. I love to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, that's the one. The yeah, that's the limit. Hey, you want to keep going. Yeah, I'll get them for you if you want. Yeah. All right. Let's just do that. I'm not playing. Today is just let's fill the cooler, yeah. you know, to serve, to save the day. Make up for the yeah. Start. Exactly. Oh yeah, they're right there. Okay. Oh, that's sea bass. Nah, he's like 15. What happened? Ah. Uh. I think that's a keeper. On the dot 16, keep it, right? Sure. Yeah, here they are. They're over here too. That's a nice one. Sixteen. Probably sixteen, right? I think so. Nah, it's too close. So many. It's so crazy, right? Oh, that's a good one.
<laughs> You're not even getting to the bottom. try this metal try to cull out a couple bigger ones I'm marking right under me still So much different when you switch to a lighter rod. It's so funny, these guys know how to use that that gill raker. <clears throat> like with the when they feel threatened, they stick that out as far as possible. Yeah. I think it's it's so cool. Let's try this big, big spoon. Big one hit the spoon. Big one hit the spoon. That's that's how you call them. That one, that one looks great. <clears throat> oh. Dude. <laughs> He choked the spoon, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Almost a 20. <laughs> it's 
letting this thing go down slow. This thing flutters so much that you have to like let it down slow. There you go. As you said, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, 16 to 18. It doesn't. It re you get like two more bites. <laughs> it's, like, it's incredible. Just like how we were moving at like three miles an hour, couldn't stand still. And now we're just like not even moving. <laughs> full circle. It's full circle. Only a matter of like a couple hours too. It's like... That's a talk hit. Yeah, I think that's a talk. <clears throat> yeah, maybe a sea bass. Big sea bass. Okay. I could have sworn I felt like a sharp tap and then this guy, but this guy's also going to eat well. <laughs> 18, almost 19. <laughs> Definitely. You have three on yours? Yeah. I have nine, so we have 12. We're done now. Yeah, we, we made it. We did it. We accomplished our goals. <laughs> Kind of unfortunate that we lost both of our anchors, and that really just made uh, black fishing very difficult, especially in the deeper water. So, pretty much just drifted with uh, squid, crab, and maybe a little bit of jigs to get our limits of sea bass, and then that was pretty much all we had time for. So, and yeah, all in all, a good day, but. Just wish we would have had, uh, you know, slightly better conditions in the morning and uh, didn't lose the anchors. Oh well, win some, lose some. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.